cars, but more about driving. And how many of you remember that song that John Denver did? Uh, I believe it's called Take Me Home, Country Roads. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, country roads take me home. Well, here we are on a country road in West Virginia, where my mom's from, down south. She's a coal miner's daughter, and she comes from a place called Prestonsburg, Kentucky. And when I was a kid, I used to go in there and visit down there. My mom and dad visit the family. My mom still lives there. And um, <clears throat> when you go up the mountain there, it's called uh, going up a holler. And really just an unimproved dirt road. Some of them were so small as I remember we'd visit some relatives. You had to actually park the car and get out and walk up. Well, in West Virginia, they have the same kind of scenario. Well, they don't call them hollers, they call them runs. And so this is a run that is in West Virginia. It goes up to our Aunt Gracie and Sherry's house. They live up here in the mountains. Pretty unique situation. They actually live on a, uh, it's a, it's a Baptist Bible camp for kids. They live here all year round and the kids come in the summer to hear uh, preaching and just experience the creation and, and just the wonderful things that, that God wants to do in their lives as young people and it's just an awesome place and so this is one of the runs typical run um, this one's paved it's improved a lot of them are dirt um, but I just wanted to get you as I drive up here to just kind of show you West Virginia not a holler but a run and uh, the uniqueness of it is just a beautiful beautiful drive and you can see it's paved um, the gas companies as they did improvements here and they, they mined the natural gas out of these mountains they improve this road so they can get their trucks up in there and get to the wells and recover the gas. And so that's why this road is improved. But it is very narrow. Um, you can see, if you can see off the side here, the, it's straight down. I mean, there's some areas where you really got to be careful. The speed limit's about 25. And it's pretty narrow. If two vehicles are coming, one coming one way and one the other, in some cases, on some areas, there's room to move around each other, but sometimes, especially with a bigger vehicle, somebody's got to back up. This is how this works. And you'll notice there's houses along the way. People live up in the run, all through these mountains. And it's just very cool. Here comes the car at us now. So yeah, room to pass, I just had to get over. church here it's got a little bridge crosses over over the water so you can get into the church right next to a little pasture with a little barn back there but a little one lane bridge we're coming over and it just kind of goes along and goes along and goes along really cool I just wanted to show you this and uh, take you up the run. A nice little, look at those tomato vines. Man, oh man, those are probably, I don't know, 12 to 10 feet tall. So obviously that's a nice area to grow. You see some more of the houses. And we're getting into, uh, this is September. So that you're seeing a few leaves on the road. The, the trees are just getting ready to start down here up in my house <clears throat> in Michigan we're already seeing the colors start to change especially northern Michigan I was up there a week ago and you're already starting to see the fall colors come but and it'll happen here too here's another somebody coming at me with a little buggy
drive, and it's a long way up here. I left the highway as you can, right when I started recording, we were just off the highway. And then this run comes all the way up to where Aunt Gracie and Sherry live. Up here. I'm not sure exactly how far it is, but it's, it's kind of a drive, and you're only able to do 20, 20, 25 miles an hour. I like this property coming up here. This is an older uh, woman who lives, she's in her 80s. She comes down to the church every Sunday to play the piano for him, and she's got this, you see this unique barn coming up on my left. She did have horses when we, we've been here quite a few times, and she used to have a horse or two that she kept in this barn, but I think they're gone now, but kind of cool, the old barn right there on the road. And we start to grade, starts to go up. You can see we're climbing, climbing, climbing. And I got an informal drive when we get up by Aunt Gracie's house, there's actually a spot where it gets really the incline is really high so I'll show you that when we get up there but uh, it's just just an awesome place and so like I said some of these roads <clears throat> are really dicey especially when you get wet on them this one's happen happens to be paved so it's not a problem but there's another little farm with a little garden there on the right and a house down on the left start to climb up some more and you kind of see they, they just kind of cut out little flat areas wherever they can if you can notice down there there's a whole flat area down there pasture and some uh, houses and different some grass and lawn it's just the coolest coolest thing and every time I come down here I always think of that song by John Denver two-way radios they have these radios that they use to talk to each other and so all of a sudden the radio started lighting up we were sitting in Aunt Gracie's living room and it was dark out and we could I looked out the front of her door and there was a that little pickup truck was actually off the mountain he had driven off the mountain his foot slipped off the clutch it was in reverse fortunately he fell out of the truck it got hung up in the trees literally hung up in the trees and they brought a tow truck out here that was, <coughs> you've heard the expression towing and recovery. Well, around here, if you get off of this road, it's recovery, not towing, because they have to extend the boom out and literally pick the car up out of the trees with a cable and put it back on the road. And that's what they did. And fortunately, the pastor wasn't hurt, but it's pretty incredible. You don't want to get off the road here because you can really have some issues. And so this road turns to the right to go up to Aunt Gracie's house. Um, but my truck's a little wide to make that hairpin turn. So what we're going to do is we go up over this grade like this. We'll come down into this little parking lot. This is actually the, the recreation area for the camp. Because all this property that you're on is the camp right now. I think it's about 200, over 200 acres. And so we're going to go back up around here and make a left to Aunt Gracie's house and Sherry, they, they're sisters, they live together here. So here we go to the left, and now we're going to start to go up the grade, and you'll see as, it, as the farther you go, it just keeps climbing and getting steeper and steeper. these 
these trailers, these mobile homes that they have up here, they're all over this mountain. They tell me they bring them in with a semi truck, which I can't imagine how that must look, but this is their driveway now. So first is Aunt Sherry's house, and then just after that is Aunt Gracie's house. And so. All right, so there you have it, another Eagle Auto Repair video. Thanks for joining me on this mountain. I should say run, Logan's, or uh, whatever the name of this run is. Unlike a holler, but here we are at Aunt Gracie's house. And, uh, as we always say here at Eagle Auto Repair, have a blessed day. Thanks for joining us.